My name is Martin Ponetz. I am a teaching assistant at the Studio of Graphic Design and New Media, which is also called Atelier 304. And today I will talk uh, about some activities of our studio and then uh, I will be changed by Jan Stuchlik, our student, who will introduce you to his own project, of, which is about collaboration and it's called Missing Studies. So we are from Umprum, which is Academy of Arts, Architecture and Design in Prague. And we are part of graphic department next to other studios like, for example, typography or illustration, animation and a few others. And we are a really small studio. Approximately there is from 10 to 15 people every semester. And I would like to say something about the history because our studio is, was founded in 2005 by Professor Petr Babak, which is my colleague. And he is not just a teacher, he also runs um, his own graphic practice called Laboratory. So I just wanted to show some, some few shots of his work. So I chose this. This is a National Library of Technology in Prague. And Petr made a visual identity and uh, uh, orientation system for the building. And it's made as a basically technical textbook. So outside of the building and even inside, you can see many technical information. For example, how long is the facade or how high are the stairs or how many calories do you lose when you walk the stairs. And all the building is... Uh, of this information uh, from the technical perspective. But back to our studio. Our studio is a space where we are happy that we can invite not just the graphic designers, which are the core of the, of the group, but there are also people with various backgrounds, which is really great for, for making some, some New, new topics and find some unexpected ways and approaches to the field of graphic design. So there are also, for example, programmers, technicians or historians, photographers, even some actors or yachtsmen are coming. So that means that the outputs of uh, the students are not only visual, but they also make some stuff in the 3D, for example, robots, or this is a uh, work by Sofia Samareva, our former student, which ended as a fashion designer, which is for us totally okay. And we like this atmosphere of changing ideas in, in interdisciplinary uh, vision, let's say. So I would like to talk something about the assignments which we are giving to the students because they are really various. Every semester is, is different. So. Sometimes the, the assignment assignments are very academic. And then on the other hand, there are, for example, tasks which are related to the, to the real, real practice. And sometimes uh, the assignments are really specific. And on the other hand, there are really wide open ones when we want uh, students to find their own problems and to come, come up with uh, their on projects and approaches to the field. The important uh, part of our teaching system is also making the workshops with the guests because our management of the studio is really small. We want um, students to meet with other opinions or other approaches to the creative process. So we invite other designers outside of the school or artists, poets, uh, musicians and, and people from other disciplines. This is, for example, shot from the workshop with uh, artists Jerzy Franta and David Bam. Um, another part of uh, the teaching techniques which we do is organizing uh, lectures, which was a series of lectures which was running for a few years and it was organized by the students itself. And they also, uh, made the lectures, the public lectures uh, about their work, which was important for, the, 
or, or improving their presentation skills and uh, defining their, their own work um, uh, to, to the public. We also publish uh, the, the results of, of the work of our students. This is, for example, the Treasure Island box, which is basically a book, So, but it, it has a form of, of, a, of a box. You can see it has its own ISBN code. And when you opened it, the, the box was empty because there was a, a hidden double base under which was uh, hidden uh, the work of the students like some posters or DVDs with uh, videos and other stuff. This is other book we made after the 10 years of uh, running the studio. It was called Pop Them. And now I wanted to show you a few projects by the students. And this is a book called City Equals Medium. It was made by Jan Matoušek uh, as a diploma work and it extended as a, as a book which was dealing with the city as a specific layer for sharing information and various kinds of information. So in the book, there was a big research about the uh, artist projects uh, in the public space um, in the history of the Czech Republic. And there, there were some visions of the future city, how it could work and, and spread the, the various kinds of information through the city. This is another work uh, by Zdeněk Užička. It's an example of that, that sometimes we are not working only in 2D, but we are going to 3D space. This is an experimental audio toy for kids. This is power which, uh, which can be deconstructed and constructed again, and it's made for little kids and it's, it's really fun. The important thing is for, for us is also organizing the events or, or making some uh, venues where people can meet. So this is a Prague Art Book and Design Fair, which is called Facebook. And it's organized by our, our students, uh, Viti Abavi and František Kast. Uh, it's a place for meeting of international independent publishers and for presenting books and meeting people who are interested in, in publishing. And the next thing I want, want to show you is a project called Vivid Books by Vitek Škop, which was originally a diploma work, but uh, it expanded and now it's, it's a startup. So basically it's an interactive textbook which works with uh, the augmented reality and it makes Mm, learning physics or chemistry uh, more fun for, for the kids. So we are glad for this project because it's an example of that, uh, that uh, sometimes uh, some projects expand from the, from the walls of the schools and, and are, really, uh, uh, are really implemented into, into real education system. And next project uh, is called Missing Studies. And it's done by our students, Jan Stuklik and Josef Gechnuk. It's still under development. And now I would like to uh, pass the word to, to, to Jan to, to show and tell something more about, about this. Thank you. So hello everyone. Uh, my name is Jan Stuklik. I am a, I'm a student from Studio of, of Graphic Design and New Media, which you have already heard uh, about of Martin. Uh, two years ago, when I started uh, in the studio, uh, I chose the studio because it seems to me as the multidisciplinary space where students came from different types of school or disciplines. And therefore, you can find in our studio people from theoretic design or technical disciplines, which uh, is occasion uh, in our academic, I think. My first task, uh, what I got in my first year, was re redesign the education system or space uh, where I study. And I designed this simple model where students, one in semester, become a head of our studio. And in this role, he or she opens topics close to him or her. And students, their influence and uh, teach others. And in this way, students by themselves 
contributes to the direction of the studio, which remains constantly in the motion. And this led me to the idea that there is no platform for connecting students from different disciplines based on common interests and topics. In the Czech Republic, each university has its own internal system, its own websites, and each university focus only uh, on its specialization. And education inst institutions work uh, as close structures and students do not have opportunity to meet and don't know what is being discussed of other schools. Education institutions try to promote interdisciplinary cooperation, but their models uh, connect students on the basis of common discipline, uh, not on the basis of common problem. And mainful collaboration usually arises randomly, which is what we want to change with Project Missing Studies. Uh, when we research uh, if such a digital platform uh, is already exist, we find the websites of small Czech village uh, and it's called Krompach. The village has probably 100 uh, inhabitants. And the inhabitants of this village share their skills. Uh, and when you choose skill which you need to help with, such as it's for example, svařování in English is welding, uh, the system will generate all families where they have one welder. And this example con convinces us uh, that digital platform uh, can have social impact for real life or for village or city. And thanks to platform, in this is, in this is a village relationship between inhabitants where going up. So now uh, let, let me show the, how uh, the present situation and our goal, where we want to, uh, what we want to change. Uh, we consider that low awareness of topics between university is the main problem. Students from one education institution do not have opportunity to know uh, on which topics uh, work students from other schools. They don't know each other because uh, they visit different buildings. And that's what we want to change. We want uh, to change the system or we missing studies platform visual stu students topics and students can see what problem are solving in the different university. Each university has its own internal system for lectures, workshop and other gatherings. And these gatherings are fragmented on the World Wide Web, web, web website. And it's very difficult to find uh, lectures from different schools, uh, what you would like to visit as a student. So we, we would like to put together these lectures and workshop in one place. And that's what Platform Mixing Study does. Uh, as I've said that interdisciplinary cooperation works at, uh, uh, at higher education, but it put together people with different interests. And that's what we want to change. We want to put together uh, people from different spe specialized or different higher education, but uh, with the same problem. And how does it work, the platform? Uh, on the platform, there's many events and e each events are described by keywords. If you confirm the participation on the event, uh, the keywords moves to your profile. And from the most uh, used uh, your keywords, uh, the platform generate the Rhizome network. And on the Rhizome network, you can see the other students from different disciplines or different education, which have same interest as you. And this is finally how, how the platform uh, looks like. You can search for gatherings what you would like to visit uh, with writing or choosing keywords. Ev events are divided into the six basic categories and each category ha uh, has its own color. Uh, there is, for example, workshop, lectures, or exhibition. All uh, gatherings from, uh, from uh, institution in one place. And there is a profile when you, you can have uh, the 10 most used uh, keywords and the events uh, which you would like to visit. And from the most uh, used keywords, 
the platform generates this network site where you can see uh, students which they are the, they have uh, same interest as you. You can open their profile and easily contact them. Every student uh, which is using the platform is the editor of the platform. Uh, users can uh, uh, can organize uh, organize the events and uh, be the editors. Uh, we are trying because it the students have the profile, so it's a quite a social network. And the design of this site is very simple. Uh, there is, for example, no images, uh, no choices to upload image. Uh, expect your profile photo. And it's therefore because we want to react on the other social, uh, social networks, for example, Facebook or Instagram, which uh, they are works on attention economy and use these images. So we would like uh, to... Uh, to build the platform where students don't spend so much time because there's only text. And our scripts uh, knows uh, that uh, we, we, can't, uh, we can bring uh, events from uh, uh, institution websites or newsletter uh, automatically for our platform. And when the pandemic starts, uh, we create the new space, uh, we call the online space, and we group together all uh, choices uh, of online uh, educations for students. We are doing this because uh, we think that uh, it can, uh, that the collaboration uh, can change something. Uh, the, there's a reason the, problems are so uh, needs the cooperative uh, if you if we need uh, complexive results so that's about missing studies thank you very much